All right, I will warn that uh, this is not actually a uh, it's not actually a fourth edition thing. So we're going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here, but it is it is D and D. So, but uh, like I said, I was trying to put together a video on something on the history of something, and I realized that I didn't have all the materials, and I could not get these in in PDF form because it's almost like they don't exist anymore. So Noble Knight Games, and hopefully, hopefully that's what's in here because I haven't actually opened it yet. Let's see what we got. And there we go. So they wa while these may. I'm sorry, I'm making all this crinkly stuff. Let me get the paper out of here first. There we go. While these uh, may look like 3.5 and uh, they are actually 3.0. I, I have the 3.5 books, but I did not have the 3.0 D&D books. And they don't have them available by as PDF. And if you search for them, then uh, you usually get the uh, 3.5 stuff, even though you're looking for 3.0 because it's kind of confusing. So, but Noble Knight Games had them and they have them cheap. So, and just so you know, Noble Knight Games, they, they ship all their books inside the uh, plastic bags. So they're very well protected. And I've never been disappointed with anything that I've gotten from Noble Knight Games. So, and uh, does have a sticker on the back, but that's okay. And so we have here a uh, 3.0. Wow, that's different from. So yeah, I know these these look very similar to the uh, 3.5 books, and honestly, I couldn't tell you uh, how different it is because I don't have a lot of experience with uh, 3.0 or 3.5 to tell you the truth. So. Um, they, they look similar, but I know that there are some differences and I wanted to make sure since I was making a video about how something evolved over time, I didn't want to just glance, gloss over third edition, the, the actual third edition and pretend that 3.5 is the only thing that exists. Um, because there was this intermediate one that for a few years there. So, and then since I had the player's handbook, I got to get the Dungeon Master's Guide too. And they were both very, very good pricing. So I was like, okay, yes, let's do that. So, and these are in pretty good shape. This one's got maybe a little bit of, a little weak up there, but but overall, I mean, no, no fading on the pages or anything. They look like they're in pretty good shape. And, uh, the, the difference is it, it's, it can be a little tricky because the two, the books here, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to pretty soon my shelf behind me is going to be empty because I'm going to have wheeled myself back and pulled every single thing off the shelf to show everybody. So this is, uh, this is the 3.5 versions, which have actually say 3.5 on them they do look very similar and so um but there's you know there's slight differences the the 3.0 ones like have this more photo looking um view on it and they don't say 3.0 they just say core rule book one and core rule book two whereas the 3.5s actually say 3.5 on them and uh I don't know. Let me see what it says on the, whether these are what it says, if these are like uh, reprints or um, it says sent, second printing November, 2000 for that one. And this one is a first printing of September of 2000. So uh, best I can tell, these are actually um, originals. So that's, uh, so there you go. That's what I have. And now I, um, I have my, I, I have physicals of advanced D and D 
second edition D and D, the revised second edition D and D, not the not the uh, originals. Um, third edition, three point five, fourth edition, and fifth edition. I have the actual physical books for all of them. I do have on my wish list to be able to get the second edition actual original ones, which also Noble Knight has. That uh, so because I want to have those. I'm I'm not as big of a fan of the reprints or the revised version of the second edition books, but I do want to get the the original ones. And at some point, maybe I try to go into actually getting finding a uh, old boxed copy of like the the um, uh, like BECMI and stuff like that. But I'm okay just having the PDFs of those. I have the advanced D and D first edition books, and that's fine. Physical books, but yeah, these are in these are in excellent excellent condition even have coupons for dragon magazine in this one i oh that's right and it even has the cd (laughs) on completely unopened not not even touched there so and i won't be touching it because god knows it probably wouldn't work on a system nowadays so um i assume this one has coupons no just still for dragon magazine i thought for sure this one had would have coupons coupons for dungeon magazine but it just says dragon magazine so but they are in excellent condition um this one has like some a little bit of a rough edge there like it it got dropped or something rubbed against it but you know that's fine for me i don't care i don't need uh, you know these for me these aren't uh like collector's items where i sit and and keep them in in uh dust proof containers and all that kind of stuff to me i will i will use these and i will for for either making some characters just for fun or research for videos where I want to look at the history of the game. And uh, so that's why I get them. But they are in excellent condition. Very, very satisfied as usual with uh, with Noble Knight and, and the stuff there. So, um, and now I have those. So that's that's it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. If uh, Noble, Noble Knight, I will, I will spend all my money very quickly if I, if I spend too much time on Noble Knight's website because they have like, everything that you know that they they've got things that you didn't even know existed and that you didn't know you ever needed <laughs> and i go there and i'm like ooh, i need to have that they've got some things though that are quite expensive uh that you can imagine when you get back to the to the early days of D and they actually have copies of some of that stuff i think there's a i don't know if they still have it but it was a a, a wooden boxed version of the original Dungeons and Dragons pamphlets you know just the the original D&D monsters and magic uh, more men and men and magic or whatever it was the three different pamphlets they had for the original D&D they had one of those there and it was like thousands of dollars or something it was like something ridiculous because you know that's really old they don't they're only so many of them were made but they've got tons of other stuff there every other book that's that's been out there and i've bought more than my share of things along the way so and they're they're just in really great shape so very very happy with those and uh you can expect some some videos on that in the future so so there we go 